October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and a quilt can bring so much comfort to someone going through a difficult time. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson and Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to show you some beautiful Think Pink quilts today. And we're gonna start off with a brand new uh, collection of fabric done in a pattern that you haven't seen very often. Okay, this particular one is called Easy Patch. It's a super simple quilt that we've put together and we have had this in our lineup for a long time, but we haven't shown it that often. We thought this one was perfect because it will go together quickly and it would be a great donation quilt or a gift quilt for someone who might be going through one of these trying times. Let's put that up on the table. Now, a lot of you who have been following us for years know that I am a breast cancer survivor. Oh gosh, what, 2007 and 2008. And it is quite um, a sobering diagnosis when you get it. But one of the things that comforted me through that period was a quilt because you're in a cold room getting chemo and it's nice to have that quilt yes. covered you. And it's also nice to know there's many, many, many survivors. And I like to say, the rivers. So we're going to start off with this per perfect quilt for this occasion, which is a beautiful pink roses. Roses mean love and quilts mean love. It goes together really well. So this is our number one fabric. It's going to go in this spot. Now in this case, all of our places are equal in size, uh -huh. <laughs> but a um, number one fabric is our focus fabric here. The number two fabric is going to be here and the number three fabric here. This is a beautiful quilt that does go together very quickly. Super fast. And sometimes we have people that ask us, what do you put on the back? Show right. us the back. We wanna see what you have on the back. <laughs> so if you're getting ready to pick out a backing for your quilt, you can either check our um, open stock fabric at Fabric Cafe or go to your stash. And this is what we selected for this one. Now, the reason we selected this particular fabric is Again, it's sweet, it's, it's got a little tiny flower on it, and it also picks up a lot of the same colors. It has pink, blue, and green. And if you'll look at the Focus fabric, it has that pink. It's a perfect blue match. And green. It's a great. Yeah, I think it looks really pretty together. Mm -hmm. So this particular quilt is 802472 Cottage Comfort. Easy Patch is the pattern that will come free with your fabric and you're going to love this one. Our next quilt is called Crossroads, and this is a great quilt. It's got a lot of movement and interest. It's got a beautiful place here to put a focus fabric, and we have some great ones for you, so let's check them out. Pretty, pretty. Now, this is so pretty. I just love these. Okay, I'm not known for knowing my flowers, but this is a gorgeous flower, and to me, I look at this and say <laughs> that this is a, is it a wild rose or is it a chrysanthemum? <laughs> We're better but, at the quilting and picking out pretty flowers. I just, <laughs> but I do love them. They're really, really gorgeous. And our focus fabric is going to go, as we said, in these larger squares here, which mm -hmm. will really highlight this fabric. And then our number two fabric is this very nice gray. It's a very nice print, and it will go everywhere the off-white is here. And then the number three is this soft pink, which will go where the red is. I think this is just going to end up being such a comfortable quilt and it's going to really be sweet. I just think mm -hmm. it's darling. Truly wrapping them in love. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this one is 8022473 and it is called a Pearl Blooms. Oh, and you know what? That's because there's just that little bit of iridescence on there. Oh, there is. So they're a little pearly. So Pearl Blooms, and the name of the pattern is Crossroads from the book Quilts in a Jiffy, and the individual pattern will be Stepping Stones. Now this one is a lot of fun. It's happy-go-lucky. And the fabric that we selected for this one is just a perfect match. Let me show you. All right, we'll put that up here. It's a super easy pattern. And again, whenever you're making quilts for um, any type of giving like this, whether it's a gift or whether it is for a charity or in this case, the Think Pink, then you want things that will go pretty fast. You can enjoy making the quilt, but you want to be able to uh, get finished with the quilt. And that one is a quick one. It has the width of fabric with this 
absolutely adorable bicycle Love fabric. This. And we have an image to show you on this particular one, so keep watching. This is going to be our number one fabric. It goes here. Then our number two fabric and our number three fabric are going to make these great little pinwheels that just get lined up here with a little sashing in between. So you'll have your pinwheel with a sashing of these pretty little uh, roses and or posies. Here we are <laughs> at flowers again. And then we have our number three fabric for your border and for the accent color. Oh, that's So darling. this one, so this particular rendering, is this just not adorable? Oh. That little... Uh, pen wheels kind of remind me of the inside of the bicycle wheels. Either that or, you know, when we were kids, we used to put the pen wheels on our handlebars. Oh, I <laughs> forgot that you did that. That's yes. right. And so when we would ride, they would shh. Yeah, so I remember is, you had one on each side, didn't you? <laughs> so this so is funny. perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. Now, this one is called Pedal Power 8022474. Happy Go Lucky. Quick and easy is the um, book that that pattern is in. So our next quilt is Gallery. And Gallery is a fun one because it has two very simple blocks and it really features a focus fabric here. So let's check out this fabric. I love this fabric. I think it's very dramatic, but it also, I just love the pinks and the blacks together. I and I bet you know what kind of flower that is. I'm not even gonna guess anymore. <laughs> It's a tulip. It's a tulip. Yeah. We oh, never think right. of tulips opening up, but right. <laughs> uh, I do know that one because I like tulips. <laughs> yes, this is, this is just gorgeous. And of course, it's great because it highlights in this small block here, and it's framed with your other two fabrics, and it's put on the border, which I love it when we have the focus fabric on the border because it really highlights it, I think. Mm -hmm. So this is just gorgeous. So our number two is this gray. And I like it because it picks up the background of the focus fabric. It's kind of like a mimic of that, mm -hmm. which I really, really like. And that goes here in the rail fence and of course around our focus here in this block. And then our number three, how awesome. Look at the movement in that fabric. That's gorgeous. It's like ribbons. I love it. Perfect match for our tulips here. And that goes everywhere here. And I want to point out that this is a directional fabric. And look how perfect it falls in this pattern. Mm -hmm. So this is a good one for that. Let's look at the backing of this. There you go. Ooh. So I like this backing. Now we chose this one because it it's pink and it picks up all the pinks in this mm -hmm. one. And I like that this backing kind of mimics the same little dot that is in the main fabric. Mm -hmm. So it's great. And once again, don't forget, we do have that fabric by the yard on our website. So and check that out. Do you know what else we have on our website? If you go to the free goodies button on the website, we have instructions for how to cut your backing. It takes three yards for each one of the quilts, uh, each one of the lap size quilts, uh -huh. and that shows you how to cut it. We also have twin and king queen backing cutting instructions, and they're free sh instruction sheets on our free goodie button. That's great. Thanks for reminding me of that mm -hmm. because those are so helpful as well. Okay, so the fabric information on this one, this is called Tulip Tango. That's how we know it was a tulip, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the number is 8022260. The pattern is gallery from our Modern Views book. We have Town Square and we have pieces and parts, so keep watching. So this particular one is showing little puppy dogs. And you know, that would be a cute uh, fabric for someone that's... Uh, uh, needing a little comfort too, but we have new fabric that we want to show you. So these people oh. are warriors. They oh are fighting goodness. hard yes. to beat yes. the cancer. And this is the Wonder Woman. Here I am choking oh. up. <laughs> You're a Wonder Woman. <clears throat> you beat it. <laughs> I know, and I'm so excited about that. I'm so very, very grateful for every day. So the these these people are really fighting hard, and I think that they all deserve those little badges of courage yes. and yes. all of that. So I've got pieces and parts. Now this particular pattern is in the book Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts, and as we always do, we give you lots of diagrams and our twin and king queen size. If you want to enlarge, it takes two kits for the twin and four kits for the king queen. So we're going to do strip piecing first. Let me hand you that. Of course. And we just cut a big wide strip and then we cut it into squares and voila, you've got 
the first step. That's great. Then we're going to do more strip piecing. And it looks like this. And isn't that just perfect with those stars? <laughs> they deserve stars. <laughs> and we're going to be cutting this off of the side of this. And this makes your piece that's going to go down here. And as usual, we have our uh, seam allowances still on this. Yes. So then we're going to take this one, put that one right here. And then we're going to do yet another strip piecing. And see, this one's bigger. So yeah. we just do big strips together. That makes it go super fast. And then when you cut these off of this, you will sew those here and here. Why don't you hand me the cropping tool, friend? Yes, of course. And we will just crop this out so you can see this wonderful, wonderful wonder, wonder woman. woman. You know, you can't look at a Wonder Woman anything and not want to sing the tune. <laughs> yes, but you don't really want to hear me I, sing. I don't want to sing either. <laughs> but that is so darling. It is. It is really darling. So uh, if you know a Wonder Woman, this would be a great quilt for yes. this. So your fabric number one, again, is your Wonder Woman. Your number two is your light. It's going to go here. And your number three is your dark. And this is going to be a super quilt. Absolutely, it's great. This one is called Mighty and Powerful, 8022475. Two, Town Square is your pattern, and it's the easy peasy three yard quilts. Our next quilt is Sugar Pie, and this is one of my favorites because I love how that it has this border here, but the border has a little twist to it, so I really, really like it, and we've got some gorgeous fabric to show you for this one. Yummy, yummy. It is <laughs> so pretty, isn't it? I just love this fabric because it's, it kind of has an ombre effect a little bit, even though it's not an ombre. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds funny, but it kind of goes light to dark in this print. And this is our focus, and it's going to go everywhere you see the floral here, right in the center of the block. Now, I'm going to go a little backwards here because I want to show you the number three fabric first. So the number three is this great kind of rusty red pink, and it matches this so well. And that is what is going to border this fabric, mm -hmm. which it just frames it so perfectly. And of course, our number two is this nice beige. It's a little mottled here, and it's going to go in the background here. And it's really going to pop off of that number three. It's going to be a really rich quilt. This is very rich and just, just absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be a showstopper, I'm sure. So our fabric information on this one is, this kit is called Peaceful Paisleys. The number is 8022476 and it is the sugar pie pattern in the Pretty Darn Quick Book. We have Jacob's Ladder and Jacob's Ladder is one that I, I've always loved this particular one and the funny thing was I didn't know what the Jacob's Ladder uh, uh, pattern was. I mean it wasn't in my mind. I just was playing with blocks and came up with this idea and I thought I think I'll name it Jacob's Ladder because of the light coming down out of the sky. We used to have a picture whenever I was a kid uh, on the wall. But it's very simple. Give me the uh, cropping tool and I'll show you how simple and easy this is, even though it looks maybe a little bit uh, complicated. The first thing we're going to do is just make a four patch. See how super simple that is? Wow, yeah. And then the second block, super simple, you're going to make a half a square triangle. Now you'll make each in a different color way. Mm -hmm. But that is how simple this is. Those two blocks will make up the whole quilt. Wow. You'll do one set with the, uh, the blue-green background here mm -hmm. and one set with the pink. Very fun. Now we're using pink, of course, and I do know these are roses. roses. Yes. <laughs> and this is called Art Garden. Isn't it looks that like, pretty? Yes. It looks like stained glass. And oh, ooh, I love the dragonfly in here. Oh, too. I know. I know. Well, I've had so many dragonflies this year. It's really been oh, nice. Fun. So this is the number one fabric, and that's going to go where you see the pink here. Okay. Then your number two fabric. These will be together. That'll be gorgeous. Oh, that'll be gorgeous, yes. yes. And then the number three fabric is the green, and that's going to go here. Love it. So, and that green is the perfect green for that oh, rose. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is just absolutely perfect. So this is going to be Art Garden 8022477, Jacob's Ladder. It's from the book Modern Views. 
um, that you can get a free book when you buy any three kits from our website. You can get that book free. Our next quilt is Urban Chic, and this is another really fun, fast one to put together. So we've got this great little block here in a, a bordered square here, and then a nice four patch. Goes together super fast. Got some great fabric for you. Now this is very sweet. I love this. Mm -hmm. Just a very simple, sweet rose with a little heart bloom on this. And I just oh, how love cool. that. It's just so sweet. Its leaves are hearts. I know. <laughs> it's just sending love at every, every part there. <laughs> so this is our focus and it's really sweet. It's gonna go in the blocks here and on the border here. And then our number two is this perfectly coordinated pink. I just love it. And it is going to go everywhere the pink is here. So this pink will border the, these flowers, which is great. And then we have our green that just gives us that little pop that we need. And that will be the four patches to the border here and in the little corner blocks on this block here. Awesome. So it's really going to stand out. So this kit is called Sweet Wishes. The number is 8022478. It is the Urban Chic pattern from the book Fast and Fun. We know that these quilts are going to bring smiles to many faces. And we know that you enjoy making donation quilts. And we want to encourage you to visit our site, freecaringquiltpatterns.com, where we have free patterns that you can use for these caring quilts. So it's Donna Robertson and Fran Morgan. Thanks for joining us.